Well, greetings and welcome to day number 210 of our reading plan. And today we come to Ezekiel chapter 13 through 16. Now, have you ever heard that expression, to ride on someone else's coattails? What does that mean? You know, it, what it means is that to ride on someone else's coattail means to benefit from someone else's success, meaning that someone will build themselves and better themselves off the success of someone else. And God addresses that here today in Ezekiel chapter 14. So I want to start off by reading Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 12 through 14. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, suppose a land sins against me by acting faithlessly, and I stretch out my hand against it to cut off its bread supply, to send famine through it, and wipe out both man and animal from it. Even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they would rescue only themselves by their righteousness. This is the declaration of the Lord God. God goes on through the scripture here to talk about, and if uh, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in a city and famine came, or dangerous animals came, or so the sword came, or plague came, that it didn't matter any of those four judgments came, that they would only save themselves because they alone were righteous. Their righteousness was not enough to save others. And through that, we see there that, uh, you know, each man is responsible for his own life. And it also shows us that we can't pray to, to the saints as well. To, we can't pray to them and ask for them to impute some of their own righteousness in us. And so he goes on to say here, if even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were the three in that city, these three faithful, righteous men from the Bible, then only they would be saved and the rest of the wicked would die. And it shows us that when it comes to God, that there's no riding on someone else's coattails. You can't depend on the righteousness of your grandma. You can't depend on the righteousness of your grandfather father or your mother or your father or some other loved one. Or you can't depend on righteousness of saints that are dead and gone by. You can't ask them to give you some of them right, uh, some of your right. You can't ask them to give you some of their righteousness. I'll get it right in a minute. But we must accept Jesus for ourselves and we must live for him ourselves. And in doing so, we're not riding on anyone else's coattails because according to the word of God, we can anyway. Join me again tomorrow as we look at Ezekiel chapter 17 through 20. See you then.